Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and on today's Skincare Saturday, you guys have been waiting for it and it is finally here. You're going to die. Let me just show you this. Can you see? Can you see what that says? It says frownies. I finally ordered and I finally got brownies. I'm so excited. Let's open up this package and see what it's all about and see what I got because I got a couple things. I haven't even peeked inside because I like the excitement of all of us looking at it together. So let's rip this open. And I think, hopefully there's a receipt in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, oh my gosh. I got like a frownies, like a bundle, and then I ordered a face wash. Under the deals section of their website, I got the Crow's Feet Smile Lines. And in this little deal, you get facial patches, the Rose Water Hydrator, and the moisturizer for face and neck. Now that bundle deal, oh, right now it's on sale for $56. I don't think it was on sale when I got it. It was $63 dollars and 25 cents when I got it but it could have been 56 not quite sure and then I did also get their face wash that is sixteen dollars and 45 cents and it's all right in here first yep here's a face wash four ounces pH balancing face wash apply to the entire face and neck rinse and mist with frownies rose water hydrator spray optional in parentheses. And then we have Rose Water Hydrator Plump Fine Lines Spray. Combines the benefits of herbal extracts, vitamins, and essential oils may be used for rosacea care to plump fine lines and wrinkles or add a treatment to frownies, anti-wrinkle facial patches, and eye gels. Oh, we spray this on the pouches, or pouches, on the patches. It says, lightly spray the shiny side of frownies facial patches to activate adhesive you may also mist directly onto face neck and decolletage as desired okay next we have the moisturizer face and neck aloe and oat gel cream there are no directions because i'm sure they're like it's a moisturizer rub it on your face and then <laughs> the piece de resistance the frownies patches there are 144 patches in here and i'm taking my cue from you guys remember when you all gave me the suggestion for the rock those facial scrubbing pads when you guys were like you should cut them in half i don't see why we can't cut these and put them all over our face. There's 144 patches. We might be cutting these up and putting them on my 11, you never know. The shape of them, because they do also have like the forehead, this, the that, the this, and I think it's the shape of them, but I still think we could cut them if you ask me. Separate and smooth the wrinkle or crease. Moisten patches on the shiny side with rose water hydrator. Apply moistened facial patches over the smoothed line. Leave on at least three hours, preferably overnight. And then it says treat the area and the entire face with frownies moisturizer before and after patching the wrinkle. So we wash, moisturize, spray with rose water, spray with rose water, put them on, go to bed. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so I just went to the Frownies website, how to apply Frownies, and it says the Frownies facial patches have been called the best wrinkle treatment patch for frown lines, wrinkles between the eyes, forehead wrinkles, and lip lines. Customize, they stole my idea. It says, customize your application by piecing and placing patches to cover the entire wrinkle. Want more coverage? Use frownies to create a patchwork of support over the desired area. So just because these ones that I got are named corners of eyes and mouth, doesn't mean we can't put it all over our entire face. And frownies agrees. Easy to use, dramatically reduce expression lines. We're supposed to massage our facial lines with fingertips for 10 seconds to stimulate circulation. You know what I just thought would be good? I have something better than my fingers and you all know what it is. <laughs> what about this? Oh, 
Look at that. You massage her right with this puppy. Hell yeah. Okay, good. That's good. You get to bring out the elevation. So, yay. We'll do that. That'll be good. But if you didn't have that, you could just use your fingers. Moisten the shiny side of the patch with the rose water hydrating spray or water. So you don't have to use that spray. Using two fingers of one hand, smooth your skin while pressing the patch with the fingers of the other hand. Hold in place until patch adheres. Be sure there's no crease under the patch. Otherwise, you're training your muscles to just give you more wrinkles. To remove, you have to soak the patch thoroughly to release the adhesive. Um, depending on the depth or appearance of existing wrinkles, it may take up to four weeks for noticeable results. So guess what? We are testing frownies for four weeks and we have plenty of facial patches to do it. Let's wash our face first with our brand new Frownies pH Balancing Face Wash. Sealed for my protection. Let's check her out. No, maybe I'll just push the tab. I was trying to open it to smell it because right now all I can smell is like plastic wrapping that was on this. Really? Nope. Squirt it on our hand. I'm trying to see if there's like a safety seal under the cap. And I think there is. I have been having the darndest time opening up skincare products lately. Jeez Louise. I need a towel. Let's see if this helps. Nope. I think there's one of those like, you know, paper seals. Yeah, for sure. And you have to take off this lid. I can't do it. You've got to be kidding me, you guys. Are you serious? How am I going to open that? We may never be able to wash our face. This cannot be happening. And guess what? No one is home. <laughs> Seriously? Okay, pause. Right after I hit pause, I was able to open it. Thank good. And I was going to be like, there's no paper thing, but it's actually caught up in this lid. <sighs> Sealed for my protection, all right. Dang. But now we can smell it. Oh, I mean, it has a smell, but I really just smell the plastic still. Let's get it on our face, and then I'll tell you for sure. Small amount, and it says we lather it. I don't know what that smell is. Like a spice, not like a cinnamon or a nutmeg, but like a spice of some sort. I don't know what kind of spice, but it has a spice sort of a scent. All right, and rinse. Okay, so face is washed and rinsed and I have taken the before pictures. The smell of this, it's perplexing me. I want to know what it is. Oh, maybe it's lavender flower oil mixed with tangerine peel. I don't know. I don't see anything that says like, you know, cardamom. It's not unpleasant, but it's just not like, oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like something you might have in your baking cupboard. Anyways, moving on. We need to moisturize and then massage our wrinkles for 10 seconds. Oh, 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 it's already coming out. It's a, definitely a different color than most moisturizing creams. It doesn't have that like spice smell, but it definitely, these products definitely have like a weird smell to them. Not like weird as in bad, but weird as in, have I ever smelled this smell before? Have I ever smelled it in a base product before? This actually, this actually doesn't smell that good. I'm not gonna lie. This does not smell that good. This actually kind of doesn't smell good at all. Like, mm -mm, no, no. Oh my gosh, I don't like it. It says that it's aloe and oat gel cream. Oh, and that's probably why the texture is kind of, of a cross between a gel and a cream. Maybe it's a rosehip seed. I don't really know, but whatever it is, I'm not digging that smell. But now let's stimulate our wrinkles, corners of mouth and eyes. So I got eyes, let's get these up. Oh, and I have to also make sure that this moisturizer is completely absorbed before I put my patches on. Maybe I should go this way like I was supposed to. And the moisturizer is not that slickery, so this is struggling. Maybe we don't use this. Let's just use our fingers. The massaging is 10 seconds. The moisturizing cream absorption should maybe be like five or 10 minutes. Yeah, I still feel like it's like tacky on here. Let me wait like five minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, so I feel like I have given my moisturizer enough time to absorb into my skin. And now it's time for the facial patches. Now it does say on the back that they have a shelf life of 36 months, which is pretty good. And we are supposed to wear these 
every night for four weeks. It says our fine lines and wrinkles should like go away, but then if we start to see them come back again, then we gotta start the regimen all over. <gasps> so I've opened the lid, we have this. Yep, instructions, apply a patch using two fingers of one hand. Separate out the lines without overstretching your skin. Okay, so don't go like this. It says you may tailor your patches. What are we for sure doing? Corners of eyes and mouth, but we may be doing 11s. We may be doing the whole face. I might look like Hannibal Lecter after this is over. We have our packet and it comes with 144 patches. It's really easy. It's just an envelope to come right out. Oh, Interesting. Okay, so one little square has two smile lines and four eye corners, but literally we could use this one for the middle of our forehead and they just have little perforated lines for you to rip apart. Let's rip off one square. I'm just folding it back and forth. Okay, so this is one corner of eye and the picture on here shows this rounded edge facing your eye like that. And you know I wanna do another for right here. We're gonna use an eye for the 11. So yeah, look, boom, 11, vanish. And they have this this way like so, boom. I'm gonna do these ones last because I don't know if I'll be able to talk afterwards. Let's stimulate, relax the muscles, relax the muscles. Rose water, boom. And if you didn't have the rose water, it said you could just use regular old water to activate the stickiness. Stretch, place. Don't wrinkle the skin underneath the patch. Um, that's saturated. Oh, it says a small amount. I totally wet the whole thing. Oh, I could, it's sticking to my finger. So how am I supposed to do this? I need to use one hand to stretch, but not super stretch. And then this hand to place and smooth out. Is it sticking? Let me look at the diagram. No, look. Okay, I think I used way too much rose water. It just said a small amount. I wasted that one. Start again. You know what? It, the adhesive smells like you're gonna die, but it smells like when you lick the back of a stamp. Okay, small amount. Okay, that's good. All right, let's do, do overs. Wait, how did I do this? This is difficult. I'm not gonna put it so much in the corner of my eye like I did the last time. This kind of seems like a chore. Hopefully I get better at it over the course of the next four weeks. Oh, okay, maybe, uh-oh. Look, did I just make a wrinkle? Damn it, Jim. What we don't wanna have happen <laughs> is I use these for four weeks and I have more wrinkles because I couldn't smooth my skin out all the way underneath. That would suck. Yeah, less rose water, the better. So gentle mist, holding it far away. One, two, that's all you get. Hold this out. I think I should be placing it a little different maybe and then hold. Definitely takes some practice, I'll tell you what. But I can feel that's definitely holding my skin how I pulled it up. That's faux show. I definitely placed them different. Oh man, look at what I did here. No wonder they give you 144 patches. It takes hell of practice. I'll get better at it, I promise. Did I waste another one? Am I gonna have to take this one off? I'm not happy with that. This one's better, but look, I feel like I have a wrinkle right there. Son of a bitch! And look, this one I like folded my eye down on accident. Man. Okay, take this one off. We just wasted that. <sighs> squirt, squirt. Pull my wrinkles out with this here. Uh, I don't know, guys. This is hard. Maybe in different parts of your face, it'll be a little easier. Are you stuck? Ugh. Look, I did it again. I made a, like a fold. Why can't I do this? Now I'm just pulling on my face and giving myself even more wrinkles. For now, <laughs> for tonight. Oh, don't give yourself more eye wrinkles, Sherry. This is as good as this one's gonna get. I'm not wasting another one. Ugh. All right, the first one I peeled off. I kind of want to see if it's still sticky enough to put right here. Let's try it. I don't want to waste it, right? Let's spread out my 11s. Oh. This is hard. Press. Now this one may not have sticky juice left, but I'm giving it a shot. So now you know if you actually waste one or not by peeling it off and restarting again. <sighs> Eight years later, I have my frownies on. Let's see, is this one sticking? Oh yeah. Okay, so it's not a complete waste. If you have to like reposition it, it still sticks. Okay. 
Jeez Louise. Four weeks of this shit, you guys. Four weeks. This one's so good. Like, I can tell this one's really good. This is bothering me right here. Look, I made a wrinkle. God damn it. Okay, mouth ones. How am I going to stretch out my smile lines? Can someone please tell me? Spray, spray. Stretch, place. I hope you guys are all getting a real good laugh. This is not fun. These, these bitches better fucking work. Okay, the smile one's definitely easier to put on than the eye one. And really, when I wake up in the morning, are these just going to be all over my bed? Ooh. Two squirt sherry, not three. I thought these were, these are literally like paper, like stamps. I thought they were gonna be a little bit more um like cloth with stick them on it, but not paper, not like a stamp, not like I'm mailing myself for 32 cents. All right, ooh, did I do that one better? Maybe three squirts is key. I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully this becomes easier as the days go on. These feel good. So yeah, here we go, frownies four weeks. I'll check in, let you know if I get any better at this shit. Okay guys, we are at the three week mark. Yeah, just started week three of the Frownies facial patches. And I gotta tell you, I have some issues slash concerns. <sighs> We'll, we'll go over them right now. Um, but first, let me wash my face with my Frownies pH balancing face wash that doesn't have anything to do with like fighting wrinkles, which perplexes me. If their whole shtick for these is to get rid of your wrinkles, why are none of the face products for fighting wrinkles? Like this is just pH balancing face wash and it just literally says it's gonna balance and cleanse the face of environmental pollutants. And then the moisturizer for face and neck with aloe and goat gel, goat, <laughs> with aloe and oat gel cream. It's just a moisturizer. Why is there no wrinkle fighting stuff in this? And the rose water hydrator does say it's supposed to plump fine lines, but I wouldn't know because I don't spray this on my face. I just spray it on the patches and then put the patches here. I do not go psh, 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 psh with rose water because the scent of rose is not my favorite and I don't want to spray it all over my face. Let's start by washing my face and then we'll discuss my concerns slash issues slash problems slash a whole slew of things. Face is washed and I will say the good thing about this face wash, the one good thing. It doesn't smell horrible, but the actual, the really good thing about it is you don't need to use a lot. It does lather up quite nicely. Just a little squirt and you're pretty good. It is just four ounces, but it, I feel like it's going to last forever because two whole weeks, starting of week three, I use it morning and night. I've only used this much so far. So in two weeks, only that much, which is pretty good. And same goes for the moisturizer. If you put too much on, you will know right away because it takes forever. So I literally use this much. Um, this stinks. It super fly stinks. You know how sometimes you think when you first use something that it's stinky, but then you keep using it and then you're like, yeah, actually it doesn't smell that bad. Nope. Stinks. Bad. B-A-D. Bad. And then all I can think about when I put it on, how strong of a smell is it? Can people smell me? Damn, Sherry's face stinks. Or they don't even know it's my face. It's not like a stink like poo. Oh, God. Whatever it is. I think they have some sort of rose or floral, but whatever it is, smells bad. It's not my favorite to put on, but you don't need a lot of it and it does moisturize your face pretty good. So if you can get past, and maybe I'm the only one who thinks it stinks, but it stinks. So if you can get past the, the stench of it, it's pretty good. Doesn't do anything for your wrinkles, just moisturizes your face. Now, once you've cleansed and moisturized, you do have to wait. I usually wait about five minutes for my moisturizer to absorb into my skin. You cannot go right in, or they say you can't go right in with your frownies patches. That's a time suck. One of my issues is I feel like this whole process, and it's literally three things, takes so long. It drives me insane. Once you have your moisturizer and you feel like it's absorbed, you can go in with your patches. Now I use three of the triangles. I use one triangle on each crow's foot and then I use one triangle right here. And then I use the two cheek ones. This is where I have 
major issues. I mean, there's a lot of damn stickers. My main issue is they're not very flexible. I've come to understand that maybe they can't be that flexible because they need to hold your wrinkles out and flat and smooth. But to me, what I am doing every night with this could be achieved with a 32 cent postage stamp. This is a pain, ripping them apart. Why they don't just already come ripped apart is beyond me. So you get four triangles per one square and then two cheek things. I always have way more triangles left over than cheek things. I already had three triangles ripped out for here, here, and here, and now I'm gonna have four spare triangles left over. So you're definitely gonna run out of cheek sides, but I already tested putting the triangles here too and it's just fine. It just doesn't cover like a whole long line, but it does cover like the fork in the road. You can put these wherever you want. I did actually too take a triangle. This is where we're gonna get serious. I was taking a triangle because I was like, you have so many triangles left over. I would cut it in half and I was using it on my upper lip to see if that would do anything. First of all, can we please start there? I have been putting it here, crow's feet and here for two weeks now. Let's not lie. Have I done it every single night for the last two weeks? Nope, I have not. I was doing it every night and then I started to think these motherfuckers are going to give me more wrinkles if I wear them every single night for four weeks than if I didn't. Here's why I think that. Take my cheek, for example. I'm working on the forks in the road. So you have to smooth out the fork in the road by pulling your cheek back. So your cheeks pull tight, you put your sticker on. What do they expect you to do with all this cheek skin? You have to let it go. Do you see how this makes a crease? Your leftover skin that you pulled to make your wrinkle smooth out now is bunched up against the sticker. And I've been seeing little creases in my cheeks where I never had creases in my cheeks before. Same goes for my crow's feet. If I don't place it exactly in the right spot, which is very hard to do for my eyes. My eyes, my whole life, they're down. They're always like, oh, sad puppy dog eyes. They go down. Like, oh, if I could just get an eyelid. Watch the difference. I always play around with this. Just a little bit of a pull. Oh, isn't that nice? But that's never gonna happen. Point of the story is, for my crow's feet, I go like this. If I get this round corner too close here, after pulling this, that skin that I have that points downward goes like that. You tell me that wearing that patch like that every night for four weeks isn't gonna cause more of a deep crease. I mean, why don't we just smash our face like a Sharpay and then go to bed for eight hours? That's my issue number one, and that's why I haven't been doing them every single night. So I skip two nights. I feel like my face needs a wrinkle rest, and it could just be psychological, but when I wear them at night for like multiple days in a row, I start to see little, like you know how my cat scratch fever is pretty faint, but it's still there. I've been starting to see very faint wrinkles in my cheek from my cheek skin kind of being folded and butted up here when I do it multiple days in a row. So I haven't been doing it for seven nights straight because I need to give my other sharp hay skin a chance to not form more wrinkles. The last thing I wanna do is say, oh, well, yeah, great, you don't have any more smile lines, but guess what? You have 72 more wrinkles along your cheeks and along your eyes. That's my major issue. Oh, and that's also why, see I'm getting sidetracked because I feel I'm ranting and I'm getting sidetracked, but I did used to take a triangle and cut it in half and then put it on my lip. But then the problem was I was stretching out my lip and then stretching out my cheeks, but then putting it, but then there was a gap right here where all this skin was just wrinkling together like this. And I was like, no. So I stopped doing my lip. I literally have only been focusing here, 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 and right here. Do you guys think? Let's just focus on the 11. Does that look less deep to you? It doesn't look less deep to me at all. In my opinion, so far, I don't think these are doing anything except for making me believe that they're causing me more wrinkles. But we'll see what happens. I mean, I still have weeks three and weeks four to go. But what I did learn 
is you want to start middle out. I usually start at my cheeks. Don't do my crow's feet until the end so that I can stretch all my skin kind of like outwards and upwards. Boom, and then boom, and then boom. I don't know if that matters, but for my saggy ass skin all over the place, I feel like that's the best scenario. So I take the rose water that I've never sprayed on my face. I spray this like at this distance. I've gotten pretty good at putting them on. Crease, pull it smooth. They say, don't pull it too tight. Well, I'm sorry, frownies. Some of us have to pull it a little tighter than others, maybe depending how deep our crease is. And then I have to sit here like this and I count to 25 until the frowny sticker is completely stuck to your face. So do you see what I mean about time consuming? Now I'm gonna let go of my cheek skin and then this should be pretty stuck. Do you see what I'm talking about here? So while I'm working on flattening out the fork in the road, I now feel I'm creating another wrinkle here. So yeah, frownies, what are you supposed to do with all your other face skin? I feel like you need to sell us like a tape headband so that when we pull everything back, we can keep everything back and up and not be wrinkly. Oh, also too, once you have all these on, it's best not to talk. So then we'll go into the crow's feet. This one's hard because you got to place with one hand while stretching out with the other hand and that's not always the best case scenario. And I have to go like high and up so that I don't create that crease. You got to figure out how on your face it's best to put these. It's not like the picture of those women that don't have any wrinkles and they're probably 25, 30 something, great skin, nice tight features. And they're like, oh yeah, it's so easy. I just put it on and they look glamorous. No, you gotta figure out like, okay, if I place this here, what is it gonna create? Am I gonna create a different wrinkle here? Am I gonna set something in? So it, it's taken me, gosh, I would say a week and a half to figure out like where to place the crow's feet ones. And sometimes I don't get it right and I feel like I get a fold. Also too, when you take these off in the morning, <laughs> this one's coming completely off, I'm just gonna get rid of it. When you take these off in the morning, you have a red outline of a triangle, or at least I do. I don't know if it's like something to do with my skin or if it's just because they've been pressed on there all night long. So basically it's like the worst possible sheet marks on your face in the form of a shape. And they don't go away until like I've already been at work. So I have red triangles and red um, outlines, right? Not so much as bad right here, but definitely by my eyes, they're really red. So that's another plus to look forward to. Just fucking red outlines on your face. Um, let's see, what else can I complain about? Oh, you'll see. And all of these complaints would be okay if I felt like my wrinkles were getting less deep, but I don't think that they are. That's why I'm complaining so bad. It's like frownies. You're saying you're gonna lessen my wrinkles, which you stole my idea to begin with. And my idea I think is way better because it's just about like basically moisturizing your whole face and then pulling your whole face back with tape. My big question to frownies is, what do you want me to do with the excess skin? after I've pulled it back and it wants to just fall back onto the sticker. What would you like me to do with that skin, frownies? Because it's creating more wrinkles and more folds in my face. Okay, so we got this one on and it looks okay, but you can kind of see there's a little bit of a fold right under there. What are you gonna do? I'm not gonna spend 12 hours trying to reposition a sticker for Pete's sake. It's not gonna happen. The only one that is easy, that works well, that doesn't leave any other Sharpay marks is my 11. And there was a huge part of me that's like, you might just need to stop putting them everywhere else and just focus on the 11. But I haven't done that. Boom, stretch out my 11 and then put that right there. So again, do you see how much time? I know I'm talking to you guys, but I literally sit here and count to 25 with each sticker. It's annoying. And then like I said, you can't talk really if you do the cheek ones. So once these are on, Silent, silent night. Don't say another word because try to have a conversation, not gonna happen. So this one's good. See, this one does the best. Now, let's do the cheek one and then I'll tell you my final gripe thus far about the frownies. What I'm gonna say before I put both of my cheek ones on because I don't wanna waste another one is when you have your whole face full of frownies patches, ain't nobody getting any action.
It is not happening. If you get ready for bed and put your patches on, not gonna happen for certain. So if you want some action, go get the action and then politely excuse yourself and then go do your face regimen, put on your patches and then go to bed. You'll see. So, anybody want to make out right now? Don't I look sexy? Yeah, no. Do you see what I'm talking about? This destroys all anything. Not a good look. Also, really quickly, do you see those little new baby wrinkles happening? That's what I'm sleeping with now. So while I might be flattening out my smile lines, which I doubt, I'm creating these. Look at these. Those weren't there before. And that has everything to do with the fact that I pulled up my skin and then dropped it down and now it's resting. Look at this one. Oh, that's lovely. Like I need that giant thing forming. There's been a part of me, I'm not gonna lie, that has wanted to stop because I'm supposed to be doing this for four weeks because they recommend doing it for four weeks. Hence why I'm not doing it every single night. Could you imagine? By three weeks, I'm gonna have a whole new wrinkle. No way, dude. Yeah, frownies, what do you suggest? I need all this shit pulled back. That's what's bothering me. That's what's really bothering me to be quite honest. And I did wanna quit. Like after two weeks, I just wanted to come and go, guys, I, I can't do it because I'm gonna get more wrinkles if I keep doing this. But I'm gonna stick it out. So my compromise rather than quitting was to just skip two nights every week. I'm doing it five nights a week for four weeks. So that's my compromise. So we're on week three, we'll see what happens pretty soon. You guys, you should start placing your bets right now. Does she come back with fewer wrinkles or does she come back with way more wrinkles? Place your bets right now. Okay, we have come to the end of our four week test of brownies. I know. I was so thankful this four weeks is over. I will tell you that right now. And what else I will tell you is week four, I I pretty much gave up. I'm not gonna lie. This, I was gonna say might possibly be the worst skincare test I've ever gone through, but it is not possibly. It completely 100% is the worst. I hated every single minute of these last four weeks. I'm not gonna lie. I know the frownies community is probably up in arms. I'm sure there's gonna be comments out there saying whatever. I'm telling you right now, no. So I've already washed my face and I've already taken my after pictures, but I can tell you right now, I don't need a before and after shot to know that nothing happened except for the fact that maybe I actually look worse. Secondly, Frownies gave me zits the entire time I was using it. When I woke up with a zit here yesterday, this zit right here is going away. I would wake up with like a zit right here. I would wake up with just random onesie twosie zits the entire time. And you wanna know what I think it is? I think it's the GD adhesive on the back of these stupid stickers. This adhesive right here. Maybe it doesn't give anybody else zits, but it gives me zits. Yeah, you know how I was like from the get go? Well. First of all, day one, I was so excited when this came in and then I was like, oh my God, Frownies totally stole my idea. I came up with this idea like a million years ago. Okay, well, if I ever won the lottery and I had a million dollars to actually make my idea come to fruition, I would do a much better job than Frownies did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Frownies, no offense, but this did not work for me at all. Not only did my wrinkles that I was targeting with these little postage stamp stickers not get any less, I feel like I gave myself more wrinkles. That is not the goal of an anti-wrinkle skincare regimen. Anti-anti-wrinkle, not more wrinkles. <laughs> In case you can't tell, I hate frownies. Hate is a strong word and I hated every minute of it. Every single minute of it. So you know how like at the beginning of week three, I was like, oh gosh, there is a part of me that wants to give up because I feel like I'm stretching my face to get rid of this wrinkle, but then this is getting wrinkly and then, <sighs> I did kind of give up. 
I did week three, like five days of week three, but week four, maybe two times I wore frownies in all of week four. A, it takes entirely too long. The entire process for three products, the face wash, the moisturizer, and the patches, you might as well bring on back all of those millions of Cindy Crawford products that we tested out however long ago and do those. You would get done faster than you will with these three products from Frownies. It takes forever. Number two, getting these stickers on in the exact right area each time without like creating a fold or a wrinkle is a hellish experience and it cannot be done. I'm sorry about it, but it can't. The mere fact of the matter is I would put up with that if my 11 was any less deep than it was four weeks ago, and it is not. There is one, okay, there's one thing. I will shed a little positivity. I did look at my after pictures, and I kind of, kind of think that this fork in the road, this little line right here, is maybe a little shorter, a little less deep. But that is it. My crow's feet, the same. It is like I did nothing for the last four weeks. And again, I'm gonna keep saying it. I didn't do anything really week four. I was so over it and so discouraged and so disappointed. I could not bring myself to put these fucking brownies on. I couldn't. It was like, oh, this is a perfect example because it's the new year and you're gonna be like, oh my God, this is the year I'm totally gonna start working out, eat right, and I'm gonna cut out my sugar. And then you do it for like two weeks and you're miserable and your motivation is shot. You started day one with like, yes, oh my gosh. I woke up so early and I jogged around the block and then I came home and I made myself some steel cut oatmeal or whatever the hell it's called. And I brought carrot sticks to work. And then by the end of the first week, you're like, there's no way I can do this anymore. This is so discouraging. I haven't lost any weight. All I am is sore. I think I sprained my ankle on the jog. Like, I don't wanna do this anymore. That's exactly how I felt with frownies during the end of week three and all of week four. I just didn't like it. <laughs> Can you guys tell I just didn't like it? Frownies, not for me. These little paper stamps, oh, and mind you, you look at the box and you're like, 144 patches, holy shit, that's so many. Guess what? It's not quite that many. A, when you have to redo them all the time because you place them on and you discover that you have to rip it off and do another one because you've wrinkled your whole face up. And look it, there's actually not that many left. There's this many, six, seven, eight, nine, 36 left. And I didn't even do it all of week four. And I only did it five nights a week for weeks one, two, and three. 144 patches, while it sounds like a lot, it's just gonna get you through the four weeks. What I feel like Frownies is missing out on, this adhesive, it is exactly like the adhesive on a postage stamp. Now, nowhere on here, and maybe I missed it, does it say that the sticky stuff has any sort of wrinkle fighting property. The only thing that has any wrinkle fighting property out of these three products is this rose water. And it literally just says plump fine lines. That's it. But I think where Frownies is missing out is why didn't they make the adhesive have some like retinol or something in it? So while it's sitting on your face, stretching out your wrinkle forever, why isn't it like trying to fight that wrinkle throughout the eight hours that you're sleepy? Doesn't that make sense to you? Because it makes sense to me, number one. Number two, I don't know where I am in my numbers. Why don't these this face cleanser and this stinky ass moisturizing cream, why don't they have any wrinkle fighting properties in them? Why am I relying out of this, you know, three step, four step process just on these stickers? We could save ourselves the 60 bucks that this costs, go to the Dollar Tree and buy a sheet of stickers and stick them on our face and go to bed. A sheet of stickers, in my opinion, allegedly, has the same amount of wrinkle fighting properties as all of these products put together. And they cost a dollar. Now, maybe my face, my age, my lack of skincare over the last, you know, 46 years, maybe all of that is not a good fit for frownies. Because if you look at the pictures of the people on their website, those people, kind of like everything else, 
it's kind of like everything else we see out there as far as wrinkle fighting shit is concerned. These people that are like, hmm, put their patches on, they don't have any wrinkles. They don't have any loose skin. Of course the patches are going to fit on their face properly. Of course their little tiny minute baby hairline fracture lines are going to look smoother when they woke up. They didn't have any wrinkles like this to begin with. And when they pull back their skin, it doesn't fall back onto the sticker like a GD Sharpay. I'm a real human girl. I'm going to be 49, never took great care of my skin before, just barely started, got these frownies, was totally excited about it because I had thought of this idea in my head and I thought for sure it makes sense. Flatten out your wrinkle, put something on it to hold it in place, voila, wrinkle gone. That didn't work out in my favor at all. I just hated every minute of it and I feel bad because I wanted to like the frownies. I wanted the frownies to work, but I can't lie. If you are looking at me and see anything in my face, in your face, I don't know if $60 worth of frownies is worth it for you. I'm just saying, I feel bad. Like I'm really ranting. Like this is, you know, I haven't liked a lot of things before. Neutrogena, that suction thing that I threw right in the garbage. I feel like I didn't go off on those things nearly as bad as I'm going off on brownies. And John said, you know, look at it this way. You're being a good Samaritan. <laughs> I'm being a good Samaritan and telling you guys, no, no. But let's take a look at the before and afters just so you can be super sure that I'm not crazy and that we didn't see any sort of improvement in my targeted areas. 11 crow's feet smile lines. Go ahead, take a look. no improvement. And let's just call this what it is. It wasn't a four week test. Let's just call it a three week test. And I know Frownies recommends that you should do it for four weeks, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. You know what really bothered me? It started actually making me see all of my wrinkles and making me see maybe how poorly I'm aging, especially when I would put these on. Every time I would stretch it and then my skin would fall back and I'd see little, little tiny baby wrinkles it just made me feel bad about myself and i think that was a big part in me not wanting to continue it because what do you do you're sitting in the mirror putting these stickers on and you have to hold them on there and all you're doing is staring at yourself in the mirror son of a bitch every day i'm looking older and grosser i don't feel old and gross i feel like young and spry and hip and you know i'm a cool mom but when i had to sit there and stare at myself for fucking five minutes every single night holding my wrinkly skin back i sure as shit didn't feel good i didn't like that <laughs> hence why i didn't use it for week four yeah the stickers total bust. Let's take the stickers out of the equation. Face cleanser. I will say something positive about this. While I think that they probably should have put some sort of something to improve your skin. pH balancing, who gives a shit? Tell me that it's going to reduce hyperpigmentation. Tell me that it's going to brighten. At this point, what the fuck is even pH balancing? Who cares? But it did clean your face. You don't need a lot of it. I still have a lot left. It's probably only halfway gone after four weeks. That is a plus. If you're looking for a face wash that does nothing except wash your face, this isn't bad. At least the face wash is like quality natural ingredients balance and cleanse the face of environmental pollutants and hormonal imbalances. The moisturizer for neck and face, it doesn't even say any of that. It doesn't even say like provides your face with moisture all day. Nothing. And it stinks. It stinks. Mm -mm. 
And the rose water, I do not like the smell of rose, so I never sprayed this directly on my face. I only use this to spray on the stickers. This is nothing I would ever purchase ever in my life, ever. I do like to spray myself with the setting spray. I like that feel of the mist, but because this is rose water, I won't be spraying it on my face. So out of all three of these things, I guess my favorite was face wash. I guess I had a pick gun to my head and I had to pick something it'd be this but would I go to the family's website just to buy this face wash hail to the no I would not all I can think of during this entire final day is anybody seen the movie clue which I love you know at the end I hated her so much it it the it flame flames Flames. Flames on the side of my face. That is what I feel like about brownies. Like, I hated brownies so much. Yeah. In conclusion, brownies was a complete and total no for me. What it does, what it claims it's going to do, I didn't see it. And it's expensive. The face wash, this and this. What was it like? 60 bucks, $54. And then I bought this, this extra moisturizing room for like 16. That's a lot. I could have been using the rock. I could have been using Numi for this entire four weeks, spent less money and probably would have seen 10 times better results. While we were interested in trying frownies and we were very, very curious about it, I was super curious about it. That curiosity is done now. We know, I know, it did not work for me, but let me just say, so it's out there. It may work for you because everybody's skin is different. Everybody's face is different. Genetics are different. If you are curious in trying it out for yourself, I say do it. Make sure you get it on sale. Maybe just get the patches. Use your own face wash and your own moisturizer. You can spritz these patches with just water because again, just because something doesn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you but it completely and totally did not work for me. So there you have it. Our Frownies four week test is done and I couldn't be more happy. <laughs> On to the next. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so that you are alerted to all of the Skincare Saturday videos I push out, which is every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out. I hated her so much.